Good morning, folks. Today we have updates on the sunspot cycle. I'll slap geophysicists with some help from the past, and we hit human magnetic sense as well. We are starting with our star and find a relatively quiet last 24 hours. We do have new sunspots turning in, but they are small and would need to grow. One of the northern filaments did release and produce a CME, but as you can likely see here, it released due north, up and away from the Earth. Let's go over and get an update on the sunspot cycle, and we continue to track much higher than the predicted values. Notions of grand solar minimum this cycle have evaporated out of existence. The best case scenario is for a double peaked maximum with a dip in the middle, but even that would need to have that first peak now. Otherwise, we are virtually guaranteed to have a much more explosive sunspot maximum in the next two to three years than expected, definitely much more so than last cycle. Hopefully not. Earth's ongoing magnetic pole shift is leaving Earth more vulnerable by the month. And with that, let's jump back in time to 2014 when MIT tried shillingly to quell fear about the ongoing geomagnetic shift. They said that Earth is above the long-term average of planetary magnetic power, and so we shouldn't be worried about the speed or accelerations of the ongoing changes. We thought that was one of the most unintelligent arguments we'd ever seen made about anything, like telling your buddy not to worry where you are right here at the scariest roller coaster you could imagine, when obviously, that's probably the moment you need to realize what's about to happen to your coaster car. We pointed to the recent studies showing how rapidly the field reversal could occur, and then, last year, we were able to put the icing on the cake with a video highlighting the key study showing that the notion that you could go on average strength comparisons was, in fact, lunacy. Indeed, the field can not only flip rapidly, but the strength before the flip is of absolutely no consequence. When it's time, it's time. Today, we'll go ahead and put a cherry in the icing, and it is confirmed that there is no recognizable signal that tells them the flip is about to happen from a long-term perspective. Truly, you just have to watch the field, give heed to the cycles you know, and when the field begins tanking right on time, like right now, it's time to pay attention. So let's go ahead and raise the bet from yesterday's continued look at geomagnetic effects on the animal kingdom. Folks, the way they proved humans have a magnetic sense was pretty genius. Many, if not most, humans have a 3D mind map where things are and where they've been and often even where they're going and how to get back. We can tell if we are facing a similar direction as something else, but... These may not be so solid during the zenith of the disaster. The reliance on Earth's magnetic field isn't quite as critical to humans as it is to bird navigation, fish finding reproductive zones, certain mammalian foraging patterns. But it's possible that our inner compass, that many of us seem to have, will be significantly affected when Earth's field has its pole shift and continued weakening. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.